Welcome to TA Tech. This is a comprehensive guide of Windows. This will tell you all the problems there are with Windows on the Steam Deck and how to fix them in one simple video. First problem, showing the keyboard automatically when you type. So a lot of people ask me how to show up the keyboard automatically when you want to type something. This has been a problem for so many people since I saw a lot of comments about it on my videos. So what you need to do here is first go to the settings and find devices. When you press on devices on the left side, there will be typing. Press on that and scroll down until you find this. This option here will allow you to show the keyboard even if you're not in the tablet mode if you touch the screen. So all you need to do is enable this, make sure it's enabled and your problem will be solved. On to the next one. Number two, improving Steam Deck's performance dramatically. So let's improve the Steam Deck's performance making most games run at 60 frames per second. So let's get right to it. So this also works on SteamOS but on this one I'm getting the wrong Windows. So let's go to Windows Settings app here and find the update and security. So click on update and security and here you need to find the recovery. It should be on the left menu here. If you click recovery, there should be advanced startup. What this does is gets you to the advanced menu where you can tweak the Steam Deck as you want. So let's go to the advanced startup and wait for it to load. This will take around a few seconds to load. So let's just wait for it to load. And after it's loaded, just go to troubleshoot. Um, in troubleshoot, you need to find advanced options. And to go to the boot menu, you need to go to EEFI firmware settings. So after your Steam Deck has booted up, you need to go to the bottom right one, use the D-pad to navigate, uh, open this one and just wait for it to load. And then you need to go to the one on the left where it says advanced. And then you need to scroll down to the one I'm going to select UMA buffer. So this one is normally set to one gigabyte on Windows. This will basically not allow your uh, VRAM to access more than one gigabyte of RAM. So what I need to do is basically set it to four. So I set it back to one just to show you. And you need to set it back to four gigabytes. There you will have the best performance you can ever have on your Steam Deck windows and you need to go to the exit menu. So don't exit right away. Make sure you save the changing without exiting because sometimes it doesn't work really. So you need to save without exiting and then you exit with saving the changes and then you need to wait for it to reboot. After it's rebooted, it will give you the best performance you ever had in your Steam Deck. So that should do it. Number three, install SteamOS UI on Windows. So the Steam Deck UI has just came to Windows and I'm here to show you how to download it on your Steam Deck. So having Windows on the Steam Deck is really fun but it comes with caveats and it's not the best to run on this system. So I gave you something that would make it so much easier is having the Steam Deck UI on your Windows machine. So as you can see here, I closed my Steam application. I'm running Windows 10 on this machine. You can do this with Windows 11 as well. It runs just fine without any problems. So I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. It's three simple steps and they're very easy. So the first step is you need to go to the Steam settings on the Steam application. So go to the settings and in the account section, you need to look for the beta participation. Here you need to click change and then you make sure that you're in the beta. After that, you need to close your Steam uh, application for the next step to work. So make sure you exit Steam properly. So make sure you go to the tray right there and make sure you press exit so Steam is not running in the background. So after you've done that, you need to go to Steam itself and right click on it and go to properties. And at this here where it says target, you need to add something to make it run in the new uh, UI that they added so you need to type dash and then you type gamepad UI make sure you do this and uh, don't get the spelling wrong if you get it wrong your steam will not run at all not even properly because it will not understand what it needs to do so make sure you type it correctly after you've done that you need to click apply and give it permissions and press ok so after you've done these steps you are ready to run the new UI on your Steam Deck. So make sure you just run Steam and just wait for it to load. I'm gonna speed this up and show you the new system or the new UI they made for Windows. It's really neat. It makes it so much easier to run Windows on the Steam Deck before it was a hassle. Number four, Steam Deck frame rate limiter. So you're here because you wanna set the frame rates globally on all your games on Windows to save some battery or, or choose a frame rate that is not supported by a game. As you can see here, FIFA is running on 40, 8 frames per second, I set a cap to 48, even though the game does not have 48 frames per second settings. Let's go to the settings here to check what it has. So go into display settings, as you can see here, the FIFA has 30 frames, 60 frames, and no frames limit. So it does not have 48 frames. So how did I set it to 48 frames or any frame rate that I want? And I'm going to show you in this video. 
So what we need to do first is download the files in the description below. I left them there as direct links, it's easy to download. After you download them, you need to extract them because they come in a zip file. After you extracted them, you go to the folder where you extracted them in and you find an application here. So you open the application here and it's gonna ask you for admin permissions, give it permissions and you'll be greeted with this screen. So what you need to do now is look for the other file that we downloaded, which is included in the zip file. So here you go to import and you import this team deck settings for the frame rates. So I clicked export here. Uh, you need to go to import and you will find this other file that we downloaded, press this, Press open, I already opened this, so I'm not gonna do that. It will load up the Steam Deck settings. So you'll have the settings here, but this is not done. You need to press okay. You need to restart your Steam Deck for the settings to take place. So go ahead, uh, press restart, and the application will do the work. And after that, you'll find the settings to change your frame rates. So I'm gonna show you where you're gonna find them. After you downloaded the app and restarted everything, then you'll find them in display settings. You scroll down and there is something that called advanced display settings. So press on advanced display settings here. After you pressed it, there will be, as you can see here, refresh rate is 48 hertz. That's what I set it to, but you can't change it from here. You'll see just one setting. So you go to above it where it says display adapter properties, and then you go to where it says uh, monitor, and then here you'll have all the settings that you need to change. So whatever frame rate that you want, this will basically change the refresh rate of the actual screen and save you a lot of battery. So let's say you change it 60, you apply, the screen is gonna flicker a little bit, then you press keep changes, and then you press okay. And as you can see here, the refresh rate is changed to 60. But sometimes that settings don't take effect in the games unless you restart your Steam Deck again. So you need to go again and restart your Steam Deck if they didn't take effect in any of the games. And then after that, make sure um, that you go to the device manager just to make sure they are display um, adapters are enabled. So some, sometimes it disables uh, the display adapters when you make changes for the first time only. So just make sure here you go to display settings and make sure it's enabled. So I have it enabled here. When you see disable device, that means it's enabled already. Number five, Steam controller for non-Steam games. The Steam Deck experience when running games on Steam is really nice and smooth, but when you run Xbox games or Xbox Game Pass games, then you're going to have some problems because these games are not going to see your Steam controller. A lot of people solve this using Glossic, but to me, I found that Glossic has so many problems. It causes frame rate drops in games and it's not really user friendly. So there's an alternative that is so much better out there and it's really user friendly. I left the link for it in the description below if you want to download it. I'm going to demonstrate how it works here. So this application will start as soon as Windows is booted. So after this, you'll find it in the drawer here, and then you can do all sorts of stuff that you would make your experience so much better. For example, you could uh, map the buttons to anything you want, change the button mapping. And uh, there is a mode here, it's called laser mode. So sometimes you would get double input for, in some games. So when you turn this mod on, it's going to solve that problem of the double input. Number six, bonus tips. I suggest you watch all of these to improve your Steam Deck experience. So the next problem that we have here, a lot of people have been experiencing jittering with the games. And this is not just Halo, it's a lot of games and this happens occasionally when you're gaming. So it's not all the time, it just happens occasionally. So this, to solve this, it's really easy. Any game that you're playing, you need to go to the settings of that game. You need to see how the game is running, uh, it, which mode the game is running at. So you go to the video settings, for example, this is Halo. Uh, when you go to the video settings, make sure your game is running either in windowed mode, but it's not borderless, or it's in full screen mode. So either this or that will solve that problem. You'll not see any jittering. Uh, I don't know why, I think it's due to G-Sync, but uh, there's no G-Sync controls for the AMD driver for the Steam Deck. But then a lot of people will say, oh, you can't close the game if it freezes on full screen mode, which will bring me to the next solution I have for you. If your game freezes, then I can fix it for you really easily. So let's say you're enjoying Skyrim and your game freezes and you don't know how to get out of it because you have a Steam Deck, you don't have a keyboard and mouse. So your solution here is just pressing the Steam button because the application that we downloaded in the start allows you to get to the Xbox settings and then you need to go to general, press on anything blue that would get you to the browser, then you can close the game and your frozen game is no longer bothering you this problem is solved. So the next one is to do with performance. When you download Windows, you'll find that the fan is always running. 
that means that it's consuming battery it's using so much power so what you do here uh, first of all is go to task manager and then you go to the startup you need to disable everything uh, except of course the application we downloaded the start for the controller but everything else disable it they will this will improve your boot up of course it's not going to take 15 settings to do uh, boot up and will make your experience smoother and your performance better so the next one is also a performance boost so when you download windows it's pretty heavy on the machine i don't know why the fan is always running so what you need to do is uh, uh, go to the PC um, uh, menu and then you need to uh, go to right click it and go on the properties. Uh, after you go to the properties, there's a setting button here on the side. It's called advanced settings. Click on advanced settings. Then the first one is called performance. Click on settings here. And all you need to do is just copy everything that I have here. You'll see that will make it more snappy. The performance will be better. The CPU usage will be less and this will improve your performance so into the next one so the next one is mostly to do with the taskbar since you're going to use the touch screen here and there and sometimes it's really annoying because there are so many icons on there so what you need to do is just follow what i'm doing here i'm gonna hide everything that is not really needed uh, not a lot of people use um so if there's something that you use don't hide it of course but um just make your uh, taskbar a lot cleaner it's easier to use when the touch screen uh the best one is hiding the search button uh, it's, it's still gonna have a button there but it's not a full bar of search because I don't see the need for that and let's go to the next one so a lot of people want to add their game pass games into steam but microsoft locks the folder so you can't really find the games in steam and you can't really add them so there is an app here i left the link for it in the description below if you download it and run it uh, this app will look for the games that you downloaded for windows so it's going to look for all the windows services including the games uh, it's going to uh, load for a bit to look for the games that you downloaded and after it's loaded as you can see here we have for example uh, Halo Infinite is there so after you select the game you could go ahead and add it to your Steam uh, you can add multiple games at the same time and this will just export them to Steam and you'll find them there in the library with their thumbnails and that's it so that's it for me guys i really hope that you found this video useful if you have any problems with windows leave it in the comments below and i will answer them as much as i can or make a video about them to solve them for you so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you like the channel subscribe and peace